Hello, my name is Amit Garg with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering team. This video is about how to upgrade the firmware on Media Gateway G700. I have logged in the command line interface of Media Gateway G700 with the super user root. Now, the first step in upgrading the firmware on the G700 Media Gateway is to download the firmware images from the Avaya support website or Avaya PLDS website to a TFTP server. In our case, I am going to use S8300 server as my TFTP server and I have already placed the firmware files to the TFTP boot directory. Now type a command config to enter into the configuration mode of media gateway. Now type a command show MGP boot image to find out which bank or disk partition is active now? Now in the output you can see that both bank A and B are on firmware 30.16.0 and currently bank A is active. So we will upgrade the bank B to 30.20.0. It is always recommended to upgrade the firmware of bank which is not active. Now use this command to upgrade the firmware on bank B. In this command, this is the file name of the firmware image and this is the IP address of your TFTP server. In our case, this is the IP address of S8300 server. Press enter. Now in the download status, you can check the progress of your upgrading. Running state will show you the process of upgrading and in the progress field, you can see the percentage completed. Now use this command set mgp boot image b because we have copied the image file to the bank b and press enter. Now to take effect of new firmware on the bank b reset your mgp. This command will reset the media gateway processor. Now press yes to continue. And you will lost your telnet connection. Now login back into the command line interface of media gateway G700. This is the IP address of my media gateway G700. Press enter. It will prompt you with the user id and password. So enter your super user id and password. Now type a command show mgp boot image. In the output, you can see that bank B firmware changed to 30.20.0 and currently bank B is in active state. So this is how we can upgrade the firmware on G700 media gateway and this completes our demonstration. Thank you for your time today. We hope this information was useful. We welcome your comments, questions and feedback at mentor at or on Twitter at Avaya Mentor. Thank you for choosing Avaya.